Hi, welcome to the 18th chapter in Tips and Tricks using C Sharp. This video is brought to you by Ankpro Training. In this video, I am going to show how to work with Word using C Sharp. Here we use docx nuget package. The docx is a .NET library. It manipulates the Microsoft Word files. Docx is fast, lightweight and it does not require Microsoft Word or Office to be installed. And it does not use COM libraries. To work with the Word we use following property that is environment.newline it gets a new line string defined for this environment. Now I will show the live demo how to work with word using C sharp. Here I have created the project with the name of working with word. Before I am writing program I am going to add the docx See this one I am going to install. Once the installation is completed, we will go for programming. See in the package.config we have downloaded the docx. It is of version 1.1.0. First I am going to create a string. I am going to give the variable name as file name that is equal to example word dot docx this is the name of the document I am going to create after this I am taking a var doc is equal to docx dot create here I am passing file name the file name is example word dot docx here we have to use this name space after this I am going to add the paragraph to the doc by using doc dot insert paragraph here in the paragraph I am going to pass hi everyone here I am going to save the doc that by using doc.save method and I am going to start by using process dot dot start it will start the word document here we have to import the namespace that is this one start exc comma here I have to pass the file name see now I am going to run the program the program is building see the word document is going to open here we got a paragraph that is hi everyone.
now i will show how to format the title for that first i am going to initialize the title string title is equal to who is virat kohli this is the title of the document for formatting this title after this i am going to create the object of formatting class here the reference variable will be title format is equal to new formatting after this i am going to add it to the i am going to decorate this title we using title dot title format dot font family is equal to new exceed dot words dot net dot font here i am giving the font as times of times new roman after that i am giving a size to the title that is title format dot size is equal to 20d and title format i am setting the position dot position is equal to 40 i am going to give the 40 as the position and i am giving the font color font format dot color font color is equal to here we have to import the name space that is before that we have to add the reference here add reference drawing here we have to select the system dot have i have to click on okay see here system dot drawing as added here control dot now add this name space dot blue violet i am going to select here next title dot underline color see for this title i'm going to underline for that we i will select the color for that title format dot underline color is equal to color dot gray i will select after that title format dot italic i am setting it as true
now i am going to give the one text format text paragraph for that i am going to declare the i am going to initialize the one string with a variable name text paragraph the paragraph will be dear friends comma plus see here i will use the property environment dot new line it will take the remaining part of the string to the next line after that plus again in double quotes create the object of format class formatting is text paragraph here i am taking the reference para reference variable as text paragraph format is equal to new formatting after this i am going to decorate the paragraph that is i am giving the font size text paragraph format dot font family is equal to new exceed here we are using the doc x right that's why these components will come words dot net dot font here i am passing the font as a century gothic after that i am giving the font size here i am going to give the size as 12d after the text paragraph format dot i am giving a spacing that is equal to 2 and again we have to create a one paragraph for that we are using a paragraph class dot paragraph title is equal to doc dot insert paragraph paragraph inside that i am passing title see this is an overloaded method first one is a taking a default method and next one it is taking a paragraph d third one is string fourth one is int index and paragraph d third one is string text and bool tra track changes and sixth one is int index string text and bool track changes here i am taking this one that is string text and bool track changes comma formatting 
formatting here first one is I am going to pass as title comma I am setting this as a false comma title format I am going to pass here after that I have to check I have to set the alignment for that paragraph title dot alignment is equal to alignment center alignment dot center I am going to select that is for title now I am going to insert the text that is doc dot insert paragraph inside that this is also a overloaded method here I am taking a this method that is string text and bool track changes and formatting here I am giving a first as text paragraph comma I am going to set this the boolean value as false paragraph and text paragraph format Now I am going to run this program. Let's see what will happen. See, we got the paragraph and we got the title with the font decoration, and these are all the see here we have given environment at new line that's why remaining things has gone to next line now I will show how to add image to the word document for that we need to copy one image to the solution see I am copying the and I am going to properties and I am going to select copy always now I will show how to add the image exceed dot words dot net dot image is equal to doc dot add image and passing the image name that is Virat Kohli dot image here I have to take the name of the image as img after this I am creating a new paragraph that by using a paragraph class paragraph par is equal to dot dot insert paragraph here I am going to pass the Virat's picture here 
for that append picture this is the method to append the picture before that we have to create one image that is by using a picture class picture p is equal to image dot create picture here I have to pass p inside this now I am going to run this program here the Virat Kohli's image have to be display in the document the program is building see the word document has open here we got the Virat Kohli's picture paragraph now I will show how to create the table in document using C sharp program see now here I am creating a table with two rows and columns for that I am taking table t is equal to doc dot add table here I am passing the number of rows and columns that is two columns and two rows and four columns after that I am setting the alignment for the table t dot alignment is equal to alignment should be I am setting the alignment as center next I am setting the design for the table that is t dot design is equal to table design dot color full list I am going to select I am assigning the values for the table that is t dot rows is a property in the first row dot cells and zero here also I am going to pass the zero parameter that is zero row and zero column dot paragraph dot first this is I am going to fill the values for the first row that's why I am going to select paragraph dot first method after that I am giving append inside that I am passing name next for second column that is t dot inside the rows I am passing the parameter as 0 dot cells cells for column inside that I am passing the parameter as 1 that is for first column dot paragraph dot first row so that's why I am selecting first method inside that I am passing append inside the uh, I am giving the string as age next t dot rows that is here I am taking a index as 0 that is first row and cells as that is third column paragraphs dot first dot append here I am passing city string after that t dot row 
rows that is first row the index of the first row is 0 dot cells of 3 that is fourth column the index will always starts with 0 1 2 3 so for 0 is the first column 1 is the second column 2 is the third column and 4 is the 3 is the fourth column paragraph dot first here I am appending the string value as mobile like this we fill the values for the first row to fourth column that is now I will show how to fill the values for the second row now I am showing the second row details that is t dot rows here I am giving the index as 1 that is for second row dot cells inside the cell I am passing the parameter as 0 0 for the first column dot paragraphs dot first dot append here I am passing the name as ram next t dot rows inside that I am passing the second row that is one index cells here I am passing one index dot paragraphs dot first dot append here I am passing the age as 21 t dot rows dot cells here I am passing two dot paragraph dot first dot append here city I am passing as Bangalore T dot rows inside the rows I am passing the index as 1 dot cells 3 dot paragraph dot first dot append here I am passing 98450 98450 Now I am going to run this program See word is opening The word document is containing a table here These are the strings what we are passed through the rows and columns here we having a two rows and four columns like this we can add a table to the word document now I will show how to add hyperlink to the word document for that I am taking a hyper hyperlink URL is equal to doc dot add hyperlink method I am using here here I am passing Hank Pro home page comma new URI 
inside the time passing http colon slash www dot ankpro dot com here i have to give two slashes after this i'm again create taking a paragraph paragraph p1 is equal to doc dot insert paragraph here i am appending the value by giving p1 dot append line i am taking here to append what i am which line i am going to append is please visit please visit line i am going to append here after that i am decorating that with a bold then i am appending the hyper link inside that i am passing the url after that i am giving a color to that url by color dot blue color i am giving here now i am going to run this program see the hyperlink got added to the word document like this we can add a hyperlink to the word document subscribe to our channel on youtube like us on facebook follow us on twitter join our group on linkedin and the code will be present in the below description finally don't forget to give your feedback in comment section thank you